I hadn't seen any wrestling, nothing, for three years. And I turned the TV on one day, and it's it's the Funks. And I could tell that it was the show out of Amarillo. And they were coming to uh, Tucson. And what they were trying to do, they were just testing the waters. You know, they were going to see if they could do this, you know, and expand the territory. Because, you know, one of their towns was El Paso. El Paso was like a couple hundred miles from us. Anyway, uh, so I go to Tucson. Uh, to see the Funks, who I hadn't seen for ever. And uh, Terry, uh, uh, you know, I told him that I had signed a scholarship to play ball in Arizona and what have you. And he says, he says, you know what, Danny? He says, I can get you a recruiting trip to West Texas State. Uh, and he says, you know, if you've already decided this is what you want, go for it. He says, but you could take this trip to, to, to West Texas State you know, it's free and, uh, uh, you know, it gives you a couple of days to come by to come back and, and visit everybody. And so I said, man, that's great. And so he arranges the trip and, uh, that's all, that's all it took. It was me just getting back in that environment. And, uh, you know, it was like, everybody was just, they were actually baffled. I mean, you know, I know a lot of people in Wilcox weren't very happy because, I think some of those people contributed to me getting this scholarship. And I didn't know that at the time. And, uh, and they were all big fans of Arizona. And so I, I come back and go, guess what? I'm not going to Arizona. You know, I'm going to West Texas state. And, uh, and so, you know, and, and that, that really, you know, I, you know, I tell everybody, I said, I really didn't go to West Texas state to play football. I went to West Texas state because it was my, doorway into professional wrestling. And uh, I remember Terry's wife, uh, her name was Vicky. Uh, and, and then, uh, you know, and so I, I go to West Texas State, freshman, sophomore, junior, my, my okay, the, the summer between sophomore and junior, I refereed all summer. The summer uh, the next summer, the summer between uh, the summer of 75, I wasn't there. I was in, I had, I had gone with Dick Murdoch to the, what was then called Mid-South Territory, Big Territory, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Cowboy Bill Watts. And I was just going to, I was just going to break in that summer, get my feet wet, you know, yeah. see if I really wanted to do it. Well, things went so well. I said, see ya. I had one, I had one year of college left and I mean, you know, and, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, even Terry said, Teddy, you only got one year left. <laughs> and, 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 I, and I said, no, uh, you know, I'm doing it. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do. It's all, it's all I've ever wanted to do. Uh, and even with its hardships, it's, it's, it's the love of life and the love I, and, 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 the, and the, and the route I want to take. So, the Ted DiBiase, who's talking to all the fans right now, would say to Ted DiBiase back then, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you only have one year left. What was one year? What what would one year make a difference? And, and, and you know, you don't really know. But uh, that's, that's what happened. That's the way it went. 